Hi, what's up, guys? It's Roscoe here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video, and hopefully, it's going to be a hundred wind club or wind club for Robo Conch, which is a team I've really actually enjoyed playing. Started playing it um, pre 8.2, played it a fair bit, and it's done really well actually. Really quite competitive in the meta, so definitely a team that I'd recommend. It's one that I've um, actively actually been using when the meta gets more difficult. But even still, the 87% is good. Uh, I think if I would really kind of strategically try to protect the win rate, maybe it could be 90 still. But it is what it is. I'd much rather kind of play it and have fun than kind of go for the crazy numbers. Hopefully I won't get anything too difficult, but then again nothing too easy. But yeah, what a little helper is um on the brink. I don't think I've got any of these pets to a hundred before. Um, the Kumchong hatchling is very strong. It is probably, in my opinion, one of the stronger pets at present. Just full stop. Is it only in the top twenty, something like that? Okay, so you're gonna. If he's asked attacking here, I'll swap into the one little helper. Protect that a bit, potentially for that matchup. So, because he'll be attacking into me with weak attacks. Oh, he's going to go for this. Again, <laughs> staying with a weak attack. Alright. I'm gonna wait for him to dodge. There we go, on, on Q. Uh, play this. Oh, I should get rid of this. A swap out would be madness. Can't really bring that in. Okay, I'm thinking. I think he might uh, break the... I mean they both do, so let's see what he has. Let's break it, right. Bang into clean range. This fox has no way of beating the Rotten Helper. I'm not going to survive now. Okay. I wasn't even played that well, but just that setup of the Kamchong into the minefield, really difficult to come on, manage. And that is kind of the best combo of this, especially if you're playing. Lesser teams, for sure. Okay. He starts with this and tries to tank a punch down. Right. I 
Like, this looks to be bad for me, but he's spammable. He's probably not demolished. Set up. So let's let's go down. Because he has this guy, the minefield potentially is is optimal. He's stopping getting one of those off. She's gonna start messing with him later down the line. Anything but attacks. Oh. Oh, happy days. Right. This is probably gonna to have to be the matchup that I force now. Bad spot. Cause this thing won't, s won't stop. I can just decoy. It's got a jab as well. Actually, out of range to kill me unless it crits. That's a waste. Having yourself is so bad for him too. Okay, burst it down before any kind of shield comes up. So even with the mech, the um, the control hatchling is really good. It has that strong dot against them. So even if you start off badly, or if you start off that bad choice, that poor choice, you can potentially try and go for a trade. That's something that I've done before with this guy. But the and then getting that racial fox sooner. Getting down your AOE. You got a bit of coverage of the MPD. But it's just the, the cumulative effect of all of this. It is very much an AOE meta mission. So having these AoE effects to then into a minefield is so punishing for her opponents. The situation where it's really crappy is the undead. But I I see how it potentially works in that that first round they're made to go onto the damn state. But then you have a look at the log that it doesn't cons follow that consistency, so okay. one away. So, obviously a very strong team, right. 
You want to do me like this, do you, Fox? Do quite so well. Okay. That fox can't come in. Wow. You're that desperate for the yeah. Uh... So I really need to focus on kind of dying that up. Bend his jar, or but uh... okay. So We go all the way to a hundred, finishing it off against a tier one team. I know it's a tier one team because it's right there. Pops <laughs> to you, thank you for copying my team. But it's um, it's not in the hands of myself, and. It's not. When you got this combination, the, what they did wrong was the swap into the mines on the the fox. Awful, absolutely awful swap. It could, couldn't be much worse. I don't understand why they did it. Um. Wormies shut down these two. They really do. It's so difficult for me to take out a Wormy. So potentially what they needed to do was bring in the the Wormy, right? It would have forced me to the MPD. I'd have decoyed on that decoy round. Swap into the fox because, the, like, then, then what? I'm gonna swap into the Kunchong and you'll be taking the decoy down. Oh, I mean, it was it was poorly played. Um, the start of the game worked out very well. We're putting this in. I think this crit was like the start. Did it? Yeah, it did. Which was a, a nice thing to happen. But, um, potentially it didn't, I don't know if it, yeah, it didn't benefit them. Because either way, they were ability locked on the clutch sister. This thing was still alive. It would have needed to club or it was going to get an extra hit on something, but they'd have to have swapped that in. I mean, anything to swap in would have been the wormy, really. And 
but then I have pheromones which are really definitely something I'd have been looking to to put down. But yeah, quick win as well. That's a quick win. Um, but yeah, being a solid team, getting to a hundred wins. There we go. Math number thirteen. You can kind of see where where it's it's racking up. So here's another BFA one, and that's that's a genuinely solid team. There's another one, fractionally better. The meta is much harder now, um, solely because people are playing clutch sisters and stuff, and it's very easy to to kind of to lose with them, and very easy for them to just win through sheer power alone of the pet. And you can see in here, there's, there's none, of, none of that. But yeah, Clutch Sisters alone is something that potentially is just is harming the, the meta at the, the high end. But, um, but yeah, there is 100 wins. So I'll do a video. Um, MBD, what a little helper. Country and Hatchling, all MVPs. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next one.